Well, today I'm going to do a little mini lesson with you on the popular vote versus the electoral vote. Okay? The difference between the two of these are extremely important to unknow and understand. So let's start with the popular vote. We talked about the popular vote being the people's vote. This is anybody over the age of 18 who can vote on election day. Sometimes elections are in the spring, sometimes they're in the November time period. Just depends on the year. Um, the people's vote is generally a very large vote. Um, hundreds of thousands of people, millions of people vote in these elections. Um, the electoral vote is much smaller. This is the educated representatives vote. Remember, there are 538 of those individuals. They are pre-selected. How are the electors chosen? If a presidential candidate makes the ballot, such as Donald Trump did in 2016 and Hillary Clinton did as a Democrat in 2016, they select ahead of time certain individuals who serve as his or her electors, and they promise to vote for them if they win a popular vote in a state. So these electors um, generally meet the first Monday after the second Wednesday in December. This generally happens later than the election date in early November so that any discrepancies or retallies of votes can take place if necessary. The cartoon here on the right shows us um, a little bit about electors and I wanted to cover that very briefly here. It says, okay I'm here to pick your president Sonny, woman from Iowa, and the bigger man says, uh, we await your wisdom O great and powerful one, the rest of the 99 percent of the population. So what we see here is that um, the one person, the woman from Iowa, gets to cast her vote and that that is what matters and that the other man, the 99 percent of the population, his vote doesn't really count when it comes to electing the president. It's only the woman's. Okay, So that's what that cartoon suggests. On to um, electors again. Sometimes electors fail to cast their vote for candidates that they are supposed to support. This could happen for various reasons. This occurred seven times in the 2016 election um, with the Trump and Clinton election there. Um, John Kasich, Bernie Sanders, Faith Spotted Eagle, Colin Powell, and others received an electoral vote instead of Trump and Clinton who were promised votes. Okay, So faithless electors, by definition, are, and you should write this down, if it's not on your sheet, you should write this down, is one who pledges to vote for a certain candidate but changes their mind on election day. So that can happen. So states need to kind of safeguard this. So they set up some consequences for faithless votes. One of them is to cancel the faithless vote altogether and don't count it. Um, they soon replace that vote and they cast a new one. So that's the most common response, to cancel that faithless vote and replace it with a new vote. Some states, though, fine people $500 to $1,000 and charge you with a fourth degree felony. Remember, that's on permanent record. All right, there's your little intro video on popular and electoral vote. Good luck on the next video.